you're filled with white light and you're very clean. And it's nice, it helps relieve stress. Uh, it's just, uh, it's a nice thing to do. I swear I do it 40 times when I'm walking through Walmart. So um, I think people have been grounding inadvertently for years. Um, you think about when you get in a stressful situation, what do you do? You sigh, <sighs> you know, and you kind of think about it. What you're doing is basically, it's very similar to grounding. Now, shielding is another practice uh, where you're basically protecting yourself with a bubble of light. And the way I recommend doing this is to uh, hold your hands by your solar plexus and to visualize energy growing, energy ball growing, and you pull it out and out and out until you can see that it's big enough to encompass you and then you imagine it stepping around it, all around you. And what that does is it helps put a barrier between you and either negative energy or just any other energy. So it's a good way to keep yourself protected. Um, there are visualization exercises on the internet that you can practice just to keep you know, up with it for people that are just starting. Sometimes it's hard to learn, but uh, it's a good way to get started. Other ways of paranormal protection, um, what do, um, let's see, let's go to Ken. Ken, what do you normally do to keep yourself protected? It's, shielding is, is my big thing, you know, mm -hmm. like, like I said, for me it's the easiest thing is, I imagine like Star Trek, you know, mm -hmm. the shields extending out, you know, and then when I want to be able to send something, I pull them in, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, and they've become green, and I think we, are, we know, we discussed why. But they used to be clear, but they've become, they've since become green. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically just looking at like a green light. Um, another way of parallel protection would be protection stones. And um, a lot of us will wear these uh, protection bracelets. Uh, or we might carry stones in our pockets. Who else here rattles when they walk? <laughs> yeah, quite a few of us. <laughs> so I, tonight I just have a piece of tiger's eye. And it's, it's good. It helps me feel safe and protected. So that's, those are a couple different methods. Um, there's certainly more. Uh, a lot of people will wear religious icons, um, medals or medallions or crosses or crucifixes. Uh, honestly, I think all these things, what they do is they're like touchstones. So they help you connect with what you already have inside of you to keep you protected. So it's just a reminder. When you have that in your pocket, you hold it in your hand, you think, I'm protected. And you're activating something within yourself. Okay, yes, we can, you can turn off now. My name is Barbara, and I've been going to Children's Paranormal 101 classes for nearly a year now. I've learned so much from these classes, like how to use my abilities, how to protect myself, how to open my mind to the other side. It's been really amazing, and I look forward to continuing these classes. I met, I met Joni Mahan four years ago. I went on a ghost hunt with her to the Horn Mansion, and I saw my first apparition with her. And then she started these classes this past winter, and I joined them. And I've also come to realize that yes, I do have some sort of a psychic ability. Yes, she's taught me how to use it. She's taught me how to meditate. She's taught me about crystals and what they're used for. She's taught me how to cleanse my home. Um, she taught me how to protect myself through these classes when I go into a haunted place. Um, if anybody really needs to learn something, this is definitely one of the classes that you should go to. Thanks.